Spanish verb hay, there are. For this unit, you need to know the definite and indefinite article and the verb hay. The English verbal structure there are is similar to there is. What is the difference between them? We use there is in singular sentences, like there is a pen on the table, which is singular, and there are in plural sentences, like there are some pens on the table, which is plural. In Spanish, we don't have to worry about that difference because we will use the very simple word hay, both in singular and in plural. So there is will be hay, and there are will be hay. Let's see one example. There are some notebooks on the student's desk. Some notebooks, unos cuadernos, the student's desk, el pupitre, on, en, some notebooks on the student's desk, unos cuadernos en el pupitre. And finally, there are some notebooks on the student's desk. Hay unos cuadernos en el pupitre. Let's see another example. There are some books in the backpack. Some books, unos libros. The backpack, la mochila. In, en. Some books in the backpack. Unos libros en la mochila. And finally, there are some books in the backpack. Hay unos libros en la mochila. Be aware uh, of this important detail. The structure in English has two elements, there and are, while the structure in Spanish is made of one single word, hay. Don't try to translate there are checking the individual meanings of the components. Remember, from now on, there are is hay. Let's see one final example. There are some lockers in the hallway. Some lockers, unas taquillas. The hallway, el pasillo. In, en. Some lockers in the hallway. Unas taquillas en el pasillo. There are some lockers in the hallway. Hay unas taquillas en el pasillo. Next step, practice with the verb hay or study the adjectives in Spanish. Thanks for watching.